This video is our first in our series on one variable optimization. Before getting too far into one variable optimization, I wanted to introduce the terminology critical points. So what is a critical point? A critical point in a function is any point where the rate of change, that slope, that first derivative, is equal to zero. These points are also going to be referred to as stationary points sometimes. So when you read the literature, those words will be used interchangeably. So if we have a function y is equal to f of x, then a critical point is where that first derivative of f of x, f prime of x, is equal to zero. Let's use an image to help illustrate this. So by our definition of a critical point, it can be any of the types of points listed here. It could be a maximum, a minimum, or what we refer to as a saddle point. Let's go through these types of points one by one to add clarity to this. Let's start by reminding ourselves what the definition of a critical point is. If y is a function of x, then a critical point is when f prime of x, or y prime, is equal to zero. In other words, the slope is zero, and that's what defines where a critical point is. So now if we look at the local maximums that we have in this graph, it's right here at B and at E. And we can see that the slopes at these points are zero. F prime of X is equal to zero at these points. So that's why local maximums would be considered critical points. The slopes at those points are equal to zero. Now that's not the only point where the slope is equal to zero. We also have our local minimums. So our local minimums. And those points are here at point C and at point G. These shouldn't say below. They were just in the figure to the right. So we can see at points C and at points G, once again, our slope is equal to zero. So these would be considered critical points. Now I ask, do you see any other points on this graph where the slope is equal to zero? What about these points, points D and points F? Now these points, the slope is equal to zero, but these are neither maximums nor minimums, are they? These sort of points are referred to as saddle points or as stationary inflection points. And it's important to note that if you do an analysis where you determine that the slope is equal to zero, it doesn't necessitate that that point is a max or a min. It could indeed be a saddle point. Now there's only two other significant points um, that haven't been referenced in this graph. That's this A and this H. And I have them listed in this nice table below here. Now, A is what we would refer to as a global minimum as opposed to local minimum. So when we look at our other minimums that we determined, points C and points G here, those were just local minimums. In other words, they weren't the minimum of the overall function. But A here, this point right here, that is the overall minimum. So that would be referred to as a global minimum as opposed to a local minimum. Similarly with the maximums B and E here, they are not the overall maximum. H here is the overall maximum for this function over this range that we've illustrated. So it would be referred to as the global maximum. So another point of terminology, global versus local. So there we have it, the definition of what a critical point is. It's where the slope or first derivative is equal to zero. And we have to be mindful because when we determine where the slope, where that first derivative is equal to zero, it could mean that it's a local maximum, but it could also mean that it's a local minimum or alternatively, it could just be a saddle point. 
And in the upcoming videos, we'll be talking about how we can identify which type of critical point it is, if indeed it's the maximum, minimum, or just a saddle point.